beautiful. Are you as excited about Valentine's Day as I am? You know, that is like one of my all-time favorite holidays, Valentine's Day. It's where you can sit back and you can reflect with your significant other, um, you know, professing your love and all that stuff and giving and receiving gifts and, you know, the like. So, yeah, um, today I was just kind of um, doing my makeup and I thought, hmm, since I am wearing purple today, I wanted to do a purple makeup. But then I thought about, I keep thinking about Valentine's Day and it's like, why don't I just incorporate both colors? This is a very soft, sultry, um, pinky purple kind of Valentine's Day look. Okay, so I love pink because it's such a neutral color. And so, and of course, as you know, it's my favorite color. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this tutorial and show you how I achieved this look. Okay, so stand by. Okay, first of all, what I've already done is prime my eyes with this Lorac eye primer. I never used it before, so um, it came with the... Uh, Lorac um, eyeshadow kit, so uh, I'm gonna use this today. Okay, so so I've already primed my eye, and I'm going to start with the color pink right there in my Lorac as my base color. I'm going to load up my little fluffy brush here and I'm going to start patting it on. Just on your lid part. You don't really have to get up in the brow bone. Just like that. Okay, and then the next thing I want to do is, is take my good old standby, my eyes, lips, and face palette. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to use these two colors here. First one is going to be this color here and also that color there in my um, e.l.f. palette. Okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is use that first color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this somewhere where I can reach it. And then kind of up into my brow bone just like that. And put just a little more. I'm not going to take it all the way up to my eyebrow. And then I'm going to take that darker pink that I showed you. And I'm going to hit it with just a little bit of my e.l.f. Um, mist spray. Just so that that color can really stand out. I think I hit it. One time too many. And I'm just going to go. Into the crease. Just like that. Okay. Then I'm going to go back into my Lorac palette. And I'm going to take this purpley, this deep plummy color. Get the right brush for that. This deep purple color right there. And I'm going to load my brush up with that. Okay, so I've loaded my brush up with that deep purple, and I'm going to sweep it in the corner just like that. And it's such a pigmented color. And then I'm going to go just up into the brow bone slightly. Then I'm going to take my, don't worry about the fallout because we'll get that. And then I'll take my shader brush. And just kind of blend it in and just keep blending putting on these lashes 
I did that before I did my makeup and that's one thing you really you want to avoid because it's just more cleanup for you. I had just put them on and then I started playing around with makeup and then I didn't feel like taking them back off again. So I wanted to show you how I got this look without taking them off because, you know, it's hard to get that glue in the right spot and, you know, so, um, off so what I did was I just painted right over it with my eyeliner <laughs> anyway I'll deal with it later uh, now I'm gonna uh, go ahead and add the eyeliner to my lashes and what the eye I'm sorry did I say eyeliner <laughs> Mascara, even Gigi knew that. Mascara to my eyelashes, and um, that's gonna cover up the uh, pink or remove the uh, pink eyeshadow that's falling down on my eyelashes. Okay. What I've done is I put on my um, Mac um, Skin Finish Natural Mineralize uh, powder on my face, and. Um, also, I put on some of my um, um, sunscreen fade milk on my face. It's, to, it's supposed to even out skin tones. Um, I haven't used it that often or I don't use it that regularly. And I just mix a little bit of my um, concealer into that. And then uh, mix it together and put that on. Then I put my skin um, finish on by MAC. So, um... Now, let's go to the lips while we're waiting on that to dry. For the lips, I have used my NYX. It's called Bloom. See? And I've lined my lips with that top and bottom. And then I um, got my NYX. It's called Less. I'm sorry. It's called Chloe. And I'll use this uh, gloss. This is by Milani. I don't use this very often because it's real sparkly, but you know what? Hey, it's Valentine's Day, so why not? So, I'm just going to dab a little bit of this right here. Anyway, my um, last sh last shits. What is wrong with me today? <laughs> Anyway, my lashes should be dry, so I'll go ahead and curl them. And there you go, beautiful. Oh, ladies, what I've done to soften the look a little bit is that I've added my gray contact lenses. I just put them in so my eyes are a little watery. But um, as you can see, it just softens it up even more. I love the look. And the gray just kind of makes the pink pop a little more. So, you may want to try that. I'm going to do my hair now, which I haven't done today. Um, um, let me know what you think. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe below. Um, ladies and gentlemen, take care. Let me know what your opinion is. And I will see you soon, okay? Bye-bye. I love you. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.